Product people, they're the worst, am I right? They show up with their fancy haircuts and they're telling us what to do and like, what do they even do? You know, I'll tell you what they do. They talk all day and they take all the credit for everything and they're running around like jerks. Just be Hi, I'm Dave, I'm a product manager. Sometimes. Uh, I used to run tech and product for a startup, and uh, then I was a product manager at Google for several years, and now I'm a developer advocate. I've been on both sides of the product edge war and often at war with myself. So we're gonna oversimplify, and we're gonna say that we've got two groups. We've got people who are on the customer-facing side of the spectrum and people who are on the system side of the spectrum. So we've got the producty types, and we've got the engineering types. And seriously, what is up with these producty people? This sounds like a product manager, right? They always want us to have like uh, roadmaps and deadlines and schedules, and then they want us to deliver on those deadlines as though we're some sort of professional workers who get paid to do work or something. And then they're changing their minds. Whatever was cool yesterday, now they're totally done with it and they want us to do something completely different. Like we have work to do. We've got to implement that hot new serverless runtime. Don't they understand that everything's always changing? And then this. The minute we get a break from doing feature work, they want availability. Like, pick a lane, people. You know, the, they say, uh, my customer says the system's down. Well, Nagios says that the kernel uptime is perfect. So if someone's complaining, that's user error. Seriously, what's up with these people with their shifting priorities and their constant days full of meetings and the emails they send all weekend? Are product managers just like completely insane? Yes. Because being a product manager is maddening. You've got millions of stakeholders giving all sorts of conflicting ideas, and your job is to make the product successful. But how exactly do you do the success? Like, no one can predict the future. So a product manager has to size the market, has to find customers, has to tell go-to-market story, has to navigate internal bureaucracy, et cetera, et cetera. And most of the time, the people with the tools and the ability to actually do stuff don't report to that product manager. Here's a scary word. All fingers point to the PM. They are accountable to everyone and no one is accountable to them. It's, uh, it's really difficult to deal with everyone pointing at you. So let's look at motivations. Devs want to ship a lot of features and ops want to keep the servers up. Now that can be a conflict sometimes, but that's why we're all here at DevOps days, right? We've learned through DevOps and SRE tools to get both reliability and stability and throughput. The product wants both of these things too, but they want something else. They want happy users, which means they want what the users want, and they want it now because that's when the users want it. So, you know, it's almost like we need a new word for how to get product and, and, and develops and everyone all working together, right? Or maybe we just need to focus on listening to each other. Because listening is really easier than, you know, starting up a whole new conference series. And in order to listen, you also need to work on speaking so that the audience can hear you. Because it doesn't matter what you said, it matters what they heard. And sometimes engineers and product people speak different languages. So product people. Here's the thing, engineers are very skeptical of someone who looks like they're making an argument based on instinct, especially if they're using words like impactful or game changer. So bring data and work that data with your engineering partners. Engineers, let's be a little more human, you know? Responding with snark and condescension doesn't actually help you get any goal that you want to have. Remember that the product manager is there to tell your story. Help them with what that story is. This doesn't have to be a two-way street. We can get everyone talking to each other. I learned more from talking to our customer support people at my startup than anywhere else. Do you know why? Because they spent all day dealing with the gaps between what users wanted and what my piece of crap software actually did. In fact, everyone should listen to users. And we should, uh, we should um, observe them, we should bring them in, and we should really engage them in what we're doing so that everyone is motivated by user success. Finally, I want to teach you the four magic words. These are not them, though that would be a lovely recursion. The four magic words are, I want that too. I learned this when I was a product manager reacting to customer requests. And what it did is when I say that, it says the customer, doesn't matter what I can achieve. What matters here is to say that I'm listening to you and I care about your success. We can use that with each other, engineers and developers. 
Thank you for your time. Thank you for your sympathy.